Ma Boyd said that the death of Barry for Deterritory hit her hard, because Barry for Deterritory spoke out about the poor health care in the Kalinago territory and he succumbed because of the same poor health care. She said that Mr. Barry's last hours were serious struggles for urgent and desperate medical attention. No resident doctor, no nurse on call for the weekend and no medication. Only former nurse Sanford who tried her very best to stabilize him with the little that she could find. She said that if a former member of parliament died because of poor health care, ordinary citizens must be dying like flies. The helper said but members of the cabal can fly out at midnight if Savage bido Catholic Sylvanie Saukauyan winged. Ma Boyd said that the avoidable passing of Francois Berry must be the final wake-up call for lunatic Roosevelt, his unhappy minister of death, Asani Knights and Asani's bossy wife to urgently address the deteriorating health care system. She said that we are hearing too many sad stories coming from de Morgapital. Patients have to be sent home because de Morgapital's operating rooms lack the medical resources to do surgeries. Patients have to buy everything needed to do a simple dressing. Chronic asthma patients have to now purchase nebulizers. Cancer patients have to be sent home because the only person dealing with chemotherapy treatment is on leave. Nurses have to bomb ride at nights. While Bookie from Vacase is all around hunting young girls with government's vehicle hashtag GIA655 that Tomate Skerritt gave just after Hurricane Maria in 2017. You all think that things are easy in De One Manwealth. The helper said that things are really bad with our health care when a former local government employee from Pake's Bouch had a massive heart attack and died on the spot in the ambulance's stretcher in De Moldpital. Because he was told that he was being transferred from De Moldpital at Posse to De Morgapital. The chef said by now Flashy Claudie should know that the kitchen dishes out all the dirty facts of members and enablers of Laba on a daily basis. And he should keep his ticklish Macaume self quiet. She said that Flashy Claudie used his Arabic name on Facebook to throw talk at people in his circles. The helper said to tell Flashy Claudie that if he cannot take the roughness don't come into jam. Just come clean. The chef said that Flashy Claudie posted, I know all you of you all that talking bad about me behind my back, in your bedroom, under your rump, on your blocks, on your jobs, in chat groups etc. The truth is you all are a reflection of the dirty evil bad mind culture you propagate. I will not be swayed by your empty noises just be adult enough and confront me nah. In all you mother poo dollar sign dollar sign why holes. I've been good to most of you. Hatred and evil is you all daily meals. I will continue to keep you all bitter while I excel through my hard work and dedication. Upwards with God. Shalom. No words needed. The helper said that flashy Claudie worse that Pastor Benji. He just cursed out the dirty, evil and bad-minded people in his circles and in the same breath, it's upwards with God. The chef said that flashy Claudie feeling the heat of his corrupt dealing as the head of FSU. No one around him can defend him, because Leme yo tout sal and that is eating him up. She said that flashy Claudie has much more blows to get. He better put padding under his balls flattening tight pants. Because there is a lot more fire. De helper said just how he likes his girly men to push wood in his fire. De chef said that carbon copy and de fimmel basil tie matto believe de kitchen finish with them. Not a mother potato. She said that over the weekend she saw Carbon Copy watching the progress of his four-story commercial building just after the Indian River Bridge in Posse de Graveyard. As a poor bleak officer, who was once fired, Carbon Copy needs to show us where he got the money to build such a structure. The payment from the case was chicken feed to helper said that Carbon Copy must have been in the crab hunting business like bubbles. It's a Posse de Graveyard ting. Do assistant chef said that she is looking to see how long Dwarf Duncan will stay hiding under Twet Francine and Adventist cab sex skirts. She said that for the entire series of Laba Deform Consult Tatians, Dwarf Duncan, the chairman of the Electoral Commission was in hiding. The helper said not how Lil Willy Tony cannot hide his bird whenever calling McIn Liar is calling to Corn Salt. Do assistant chef said that the three passport peddlers Dwarf Duncan, Slick Alec and Subsection Lennox who continue to castrate and frustrate the work of the Electoral Commission. Better prepare for the wrath of the frustrated people of Dominica. She said that Dominicans will make the lives of the three passport peddlers a living hell. They will be hunted just how Obama hunted down Al-Qaeda. They will be hunted in their homes, offices, radio stations, unfinished CBI laundromats, supermarkets, churches and even at the homes of their fam doer. The helper said that he will go right to Citrus Creek in La Plain, where Droff Duncan bought a cottage to give him two calot. Just how Doorknob Mel told Tomate Scarrett that his fam doer, Twet Francine is not bringing her 2.30 a.m. Budakal governance into the office of president. Ma Boyd said that she wants to know how much money the Chinese mission gave the Laba government to send people to China and how of that money Laba used. De Chef said that she wants to know how many new Dominican scholarship students were accepted at Midwestern State University and Gambling State University for the 2023 fall semester. Do Assistant Chef said that she wants to know why NEP workers are no longer paid through the village councils. The helper said that he wants to know why lately F.S. Tall Edwards is asking if the financial secretary is immune from financial crime investigations and prosecution. Something is smelling rotten on the sixth floor of the financial center. 